Dear viewers of Squid Island, my name is Jelly, and I am running for president! In case you have been living under a rock, let me quickly explain what's going on. Some time ago, Craner, Slogo, and I live on Squid Island, which is split up into four different communities, Jellyland, Slogoland, Cranerland, and Community Island. And a long, long time ago, my bee, <coughs> innocent bee, was brutally murdered by both Slogo and Craner. Now, I didn't have a revenge plan for a little bit. However, once time moved on, Slogo decided to troll Craner, and I decided to, um, participate in the troll because it's funny and then for some odd reason craner ate his own fish i wonder why that happened craner got so upset that he set my memorial bee statue on fire and then hell broke loose that's right in the previous episode my entire land got destroyed and not just that even our community land got destroyed now no one enjoys playing minecraft when all of your things get broken down that's why we all agreed that we need a president on squid island and ladies and gentlemen you've seen the title you've seen the thumbnail i am running for president my headset just fell off i am gonna be taking this rather seriously if you look around you you see a huge wall with then a huge tower how come nothing on slow ghost land is destroyed in today's video i am going to break down every single rumor and story to the bone because i want all of you to vote for me there's a link in the description of this video that you can click on right now to vote for me and in the meantime i'm gonna explain to you why i believe that it's about time we let the rich contribute look at my land guys it's completely destroyed look at community land like literally all of the villagers houses are destroyed we are supposed to be a group here we are supposed to be helping squid island become better and stronger well slogo that is not what you've been doing is it that's right slogo is running for president and is in fact the richest person on this island he's also the only one whose borders are so tall that he can't escape himself and no one can get in now that's not what i stand for listen the name of this part of land is community island slogo why don't you contribute you've got an iron factory you've got a wool factory you've got a chicken factory it is time for the rich to start paying their duties and paying their taxes because i believe that without that there is absolutely no way that squid island can become peaceful again i also believe it is time to drop the walls over history it is proven that walls create wars look back 500 years ago when we were all knights in medieval times we all lived in castles we all had wars and we all murdered each other i want the murdering to stop when i become president peace will come back to squid island and community island will become great again you see these two people they're supposed to be my best friends but i've had to resort to building my entire world out of a resource that you literally can't explode i am willing to get rid of all the obsidian if we agree as a group that trolling each other and messing up each other's worlds is not okay and for such things there need to be consequences when I become president, there will be a federal prison on community land. And for everybody that misbehaves, including myself, even though I've never misbehaved, will spend time inside of this prison and they'll get plenty of time to think about what they've done wrong. Let's have a quick look on Craner's land then. There's a giant hole in the ground. My beautiful lava tower is still standing, but Craner's ship is covered in lava. However, it literally did barely any damage. The moment he gets rid of the lava, it's all okay. It's not like that on my land where he blew everything up with TNT. Except for the obsidian parts because they're TNT proof. When I become president, the cleanup of each destruction will have to be done by the person who destroyed everything in the first place. I'm looking at you there, Craner. When I become president, there will be a ban for all weaponry. <clears throat> weaponry on squid island that's right swords will have to go fire charges will have to go arrows will have to go the moment we introduce weapons to squid island we all know that it went wrong i need you viewers 
please. You don't understand how serious I am taking this. Go vote for me by clicking on the link in the description. If we let Slogo win, nothing good will happen. He will simply become richer and keep the poor poor. Is that what you really want? Do you want to see me suffer? Do you want to see Craner suffer? And do you want to see Squid Island suffer? Then if that's what you want, don't vote for me, because I will bring peace back. I will drop all the borders. I will ban weapons. I will introduce taxation that only goes to our community. Because without the community, this series doesn't exist. Now, I had a quick peek at Slogosland. He built himself a stage. Don't you see what's happening here? There is nobody else in this world watching. There is nobody online. He is so selfish that he had to build himself a stage for nobody. What? Are we going to let somebody like that become a president? Somebody who only thinks about himself. Somebody who doesn't contribute. Somebody who has murdered kings. Yeah, he's, this, this guy's still alive. I'm aware of that. But he killed the previous one. I say no! What I want you to do is start a hashtag. Hashtag Jelly for President. Go to Slogo's video, go to Craner's video, and place it absolutely everywhere. If I don't see hashtag Jelly for President in everyone's videos, then something must have gone wrong. Vote for me! Vote for Jelly! Because there's only one true savior in this island. Jelly out. <clears throat>